Boy, Ajax Mage 14 come back at you with another video. Um, I'm actually sorry about not posting yesterday. It's just I'm sick, so um, uh, if I sound sick, that's why. And I actually have some really exciting news. I think it was Friday. I actually got the Ice Wizard, which is pretty cool. And there was actually an update that dropped on the 21st. And it made the P.E.K.K.A. And the prince way better. So on my good account, like my second account, I've been using Pekka Double Prince. But on this account, I've actually been using the same deck. But instead of having goblins, I added in the Ice Wizard. Because the Ice Wizard is insane. And why would you not use it if you have it? So here's some uh, some battles with uh, the Ice Wizard. And, um, we're actually going to open up a free chest here. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm really sick. Nice, can upgrade my cannon now. Okay, so this first battle. Oh, sorry guys. Good way to start with the ice wizard, especially if you have your giant up. It's just ice wizard in the back, giant there, and then as it starts to get towards the just defend over there. As it starts to get towards the bridge more, add in more stuff. I always like to have the zap ready just in case they place minions or skeleton army. See how well that worked. And now, look, I'm going to get dual ice wizards in. <laughs> uh. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry guys. But look, dual ice wizards go ham. Try to get some archers in there. No, this push is gonna die really quick. Well, that was well played by him. Ashram the well played thumbs up. I'm actually gonna keep three elixir for when this hog rider comes in. Nope, I just kid. See what I mean with the minions? The zap works well, and with the skeleton army, we might even take that tower. No, it's going to be at like 150. 130. The thing about the bomber is it's, it's an underrated card. It's actually really good to use. Oh, watch this. Hog Rider's coming over. And then, oh, that was a good play. Thumbs up for that one. <laughs> that tower's going down here. Yeah, there we go. The baby dragon doesn't do a lot of damage. It's just splash damage, so it's really annoying. I don't know why I put down that ice wizard there. Really didn't need it. Really didn't need it. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. But watch this. My ice wizard is going to take that out. Watch, calling it. Yeah, knew that I was going to... Oh, that was a really good zap because now... I have a really big elixir advantage on me because he placed nine elixir. I took it all out with two. Get another giant down. Watch this. Zap. One shot. Oh. That ice wizard's just going to do work. Two, three. Just defend here. I want to get the three crown. No, it's not going to happen. Good game. Thumbs up. I always give them a game. game. Some people think that's like a cocky thing. For me, it's just played well. Give them a good game. Okay, so now we have a giant chest available to unlock. So we'll unlock that. Skeleton. Giant. Rocket. Minion Horde. Okay. Um... Now I only need one more crown to get my crown chest, so we'll try and win. Builder's Workshop, let's go. I um, don't know what he's going to play. Okay, because he did that, we're going to set up a little push. This is really risky. Especially right at the start of the game like this. 
If he lets that get to his tower, that's taking out the tower every time. Ooh, that was a good zap. But now all those musketeers are one shot. So I was nine elixir for four elixir. Ooh, this could be scary. So just zap those out of the way. Ice wizard. The ice wizard actually slows down the things a lot. The troops that's coming out the tower. So if I could have got a cannon down, if he didn't place down those spear goblins, I probably would have put a cannon. And the cannon ice wizard combo, that's just dirty. There's no getting around it. Watch that witch is going to get destroyed by that ice wizard. He's going to pump up back there. Don't really want him pumping up because I'm guessing he's a P.E.K.K.A. There's a lot of people, especially down this lower rock in the P.E.K.K.A. deck right now. So he's expecting me to go with probably, probably expecting me to drop that ice wizard, but I didn't want to. Zap all oh, 25 XP. Give him the thumbs up. Whatever you do, never let the three musketeers get to your tower. So if they get to the tower, that's game over. And you see how it's almost double elixir time? He's going to start a big push, so we're going to counter push on the other side. Not a lot of our troops, just a couple. Take that tower out, and then we're actually going to pull over this, and then that, and then watch this. Zap, take out all of that. Now all he has is his ice, his, um, witch here. We're actually going to push that back. Take off some of the pressure that he had on. He had a good push there. So knight there, so it doesn't destroy everything, and then zap. We're going to send in a little counter push here. Well, if that gets to his tower... Another ice wizard just to stop. Because the giant will do a lot of damage if it gets on your tower and you don't counter it. So look, there's another one crown. Zap it. Oh, could I take it out? No. Good game. Thumbs up. See? I'm such a nice guy when I play. <laughs> Good game, Nova. Oh, he has his own clan. Silver chest. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Arena 6, let's go. Um, Nice and 10 gems. Okay, so we're going to open up this gold, this chest. Two gems, that's pretty nice. Mortar, ew. I hope no one out there ever uses mortar. Hey, mortar users. Five wizards. You're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard. Watch this. Okay, I'm calling you right now. Golem. Oh. Expo, this has got to be the worst crown chest I've ever gotten. With Expo and Mortar in the same one. And look, I already have another crown chest available because I was gone all weekend, so didn't get a play. Upgrade the rocket. Just kidding. So, this is the new deck. If you want to screenshot it right now, I have some leveling up to do. But other than that, this deck works insane. If I actually got my ice wizard out of the silver chest though, like a silver chest down here, I'm in a five one. So yeah, the way the easiest way to get legendaries is to open up all your free chests, all your crown chests. On um, the second one of your silver chests is unlocked. Start unlocking another one and open it up. Just open as many chests as you can. <laughs> like Mold Gaming, I bet he spent over a hundred thousand dollars on this game. And he does, he is pro, he is, um, level 4 Ice Wizard, level 4 Princess, level 2 Sparky, level 4 Miner, I think. But, he spent so much money, I spent exactly $0.00. And, zero cents. and look how far I am. Level 8, I've probably only been playing this game for 2 months. And, yeah. So, hope you guys all have a good day. A farewell, goodbye, and see you later.